has to do with vehicles, repair, cells, and whatever it is you want to call those associate things that have to do with vehicles repair, will have a market for it. And not just a market, it also brings a level of development within that axis. One of our greatest problems is housing. Housing for below income earners. Our vision as of today is to provide housing for those level of people. What we've done this afternoon is to give our people hope. Very important. In the spirit of the International Day of Persons with Disabilities, Governor Simulalai Fubara promised to improve the living condition of people living with disabilities. This was at the Joint National Association of Persons with Disabilities visited the governor to mark the day while expressing their confidence in his administration. His Excellency asked us to continue to remind you that you are very special and that you want to continue to urge all of you to behave yourselves, remain united, remain resolute, remain together, and then continue to pursue your needs. You are, you are not in any way disadvantaged. He has assured that you will continue to be remembered in every part of his administration. You are a disability-friendly governor, especially within the short period we have had interactions for a team. First of its kind we can talk here is that of the ongoing employment exercise, River State. For the first time, persons with disabilities have been captured in the scheme of things. Sir, we are here to say thank you. Nasi we know, Nasi we know, eight years ten up. Nasi we know, Nasi we know, Nasi we know, eight years ten up. Nasi we know. In the same vein, to celebrate persons with disabilities, their plights and challenges were examined as Lifeline Organization for Children Empowerment celebrated children with disabilities, giving them a sense of belonging at its 10th anniversary in Port Harcourt. Attention to us. Scholarships are not given to our students, both in, in secondary uh, tertiary institutions. Above all, no empowerment. Because of our challenge, they were not able to go to school. So most persons like that, it would be very nice if they have skills that they do, something that can keep them going, prior to the fact that they are not earners of salary and the rest. So, and for the persons that have graduated, let the government be able to give those ones jobs. Presently, we have a lot of challenges. And uh, one of the reasons we see our challenges can be addressed well is uh, the Prohibition Act Bill for persons with disability. That is the disability bill. That will address so many, all the challenges we are having. This ensures the rights of children with disabilities, promotes rich and fulfilling childhood, and prepares them for food. It helped me during my most challenging times, which was when I was going through the blunt disease. They encouraged me, not just provision of funds, but also they helped me with advice. I'd like to thank them for whatever that I've, whatever they have done for for those with disability. May the Almighty God continue to give them whatever they want. That the world cannot move on without these special children. The world can't move on. We can't accept, we can't succeed if we leave a segment, a beautiful segment. My zonal director doesn't play with people like that. And that is why in our in our screen, during our local news, you find out that if you sit down to watch our local news, we have language interpreter. That is to say that she is not just ready to carry people without disability. She's also mindful of people with disability and cares for them and makes sure that we carry them along in all we are doing. The whole world knows that everybody is special and everybody has something to offer. So no child should be hidden away. Considering the unstable power supply and its effect on the economy, the people of Asa community in Ukwa West local government area of Abia State have been taken out of darkness as the NDDC provided solar electrification intervention to put a smile on their faces. The light is a development. Like in the evening period, everybody will use, every area used to be bright. When there is no solar, we used to close early. But now there is solar, we used to close late. From Uber 
to Akwete. We have seen change. Like when I mean change, the change is okay for us. In the same way this light been been no day. We've been there so far. We did for blackout very, very, very well. But since where we don't see the same solar light, we don't see life small. No water here. To the community. We are lacking of water. We don't have enough school, like government school, now nothing is happening there. We need a quality school. The drainage is too much. We can't pass on this road when, when it is raining. Also during the week, CP Olatunji Disu also briefed the press on some suspects paraded for various crimes within the state as AIG Zone 16 visits the command just as Human Rights Commission seeks to partner with NTA Port Harcourt Network Center on ending violence against women. Wife. A series of interrogation, the two of them confessed to being leaders of Asland and Degbam call groups in Kana local government areas, respectively, and have been terrorizing Kana local government area for the past three years. The duo confessed to murdering nine other suspects, other victims from 2021 to 2023 and we are the main reason for the partial evacuation of the community within that same period. The government has tried as much as possible to say that we discourage the use of tinted glasses. Uh, use of tinted glass impede activities of police officers, put the lives of officers on duty at risk. I'm using this opportunity to warn everybody, nobody has right to cover their number plates. You do not have right to cover your number plates. And so coming to you as a the foremost uh, media organization in Nigeria, is also to intimate you on these efforts and also to come on this advocacy drive through the media to have, uh, you know, to make a concerted effort to, you know, publicize such measures and to also help of, uh, inform people about what is going on and also get the needed support of what we are doing so that with the knowledge out there in the media and people becoming aware, it would also be a strategy that will help us to be able to achieve this particular. For the fact that you're fighting gender-based issues for us, something that you're saying are fighting, because most women are really, really vulnerable. We are women, we hear what happens. And most times when they do, we can't fight back. Because whether you like it or not, we are the weaker sex. No, we don't want to accept that we are the weaker sex. But you know that honestly we are. So when somebody is coming to fight our cause, we should support. Well, all of us are going to benefit somehow. I may not have a direct contact with such thing, but it may happen to my sister, my sister's sister, and all of that. So you never can tell where it's going to fall the back of us. And from our sister state, we the FRSC called on road users and motorists to adhere to road signs and avoid unnecessary speed when plying the road, especially as the year gradually winds down. The road is not a personal uh, property, so it's for the usage of every member of the public, so it should be shared. And this, if this is done, that it will go a long way in ensuring uh, that cabinet is on the road, thereby there will be no any form of unfortunate occurrence. No overloading while on the road, no overspeeding. The movement should be very, very okay. Every passengers that are taken or carried from the park, a normal manifest should be done. I will check my motor, tires and engine and everything, whether it is all right before I move. For Takot residents have been reminded to be more security conscious during the yield tide. It's cosmic law is survivor. Whether government places any security check or not, you are supposed to guide yourself. Security, personal security is a personal thing. You secure yourself before the government program. It's only when you are alive you begin to think about government program. Nigerians should be conscious about their, about their behaviors, about their activities, especially within this time, that everybody is in a frenetic haste to do one thing or the other they have not done since January. One effort that you have a right to life. The best thing for we Nigerians that love ourselves is to be our own security by being careful. But if I'm driving, as I'm walking, also watch the person beside you, left and right and front and back. Knowing our neighbors very well and also uh, trying to see what we can do to uh, increase our uh, or reinforce our security. As such, when you want to board a car in this season, 
you should be able to know the car you are to board, not just any any hard car. That is being security conscious. Entering any vehicle, you have to watch out. You know, at least check the people in the vehicle before you enter. And not just enter any vehicle, you see, like our young girls do. They enter a vehicle, they don't care. It's cosmic law is survival. Whether government places any security check or not, you are supposed to guide yourself. Security, personal security is a personal thing. You secure yourself before the government program. It's only when you are alive you begin to think about government program. Nigerians should be conscious about their, about their behaviors, about their activities, especially within this time, that everybody is in a frenetic haste to do one thing or the other they have not done since January. One effort that you have a right to life. The best thing for we Nigerians that love ourselves is to be our own security by being careful. But if I'm driving, as I'm walking, also watch the person beside you, left and right and front and back. Knowing our neighbors very well and also uh, trying to see what we can do to uh, increase our uh, or reinforce our security. As such, when you want to board a car in this season, you should be able to know the car you are to board, not just any, any hard car. That is being security conscious. Entering any vehicle, you have to watch out. You know, at least check the people in the vehicle before you enter. And not just enter any vehicle, you see, like our young girls do. They enter a vehicle, they don't care. And also within the week, 16 days of activism against gender-based violence still on the front burner. Away from gender issues, the federal government lauded the management of commercial banks for the upward review of its loan scheme for micro, small and medium enterprise from 30 billion to 50 billion naira. This, the special assistant to the president on MSMEs and job creation office of the vice president said this will impact more livelihoods. The awareness should be created on gender-based violence, that when you are abused, you should bring it to the public. We have FIDA, we have uh, other organizations, MPA and all the rest. Bring them to the public, let people know. And if those who violate are punished, it will become deterrent to others. One of the big things about violence against women that is how there is the fact that women don't, do not even speak out. Let's follow the law, let's enforce the law, let's ensure that we spread the message, sensitize people, get men involved. When you get more men involved, the message will go more. So everybody needs to know that, look, GBVs are offenses provided for with punishments attached. So everybody should be aware and we should all try to see how we can eliminate it totally in the society. The Library Association River State Chapter at its award ceremony presented awards of excellence and diligent service to those who have contributed to the development of the association, including NTA Port Harcourt. To whom much is given, much is expected. As we are recognizing them, we want them not to be far away from us. We want them to be a part of our progress story. We want them to not rest in their hearts, but to continue to support the association. And this is a way of paying back to those that have contributed to the growth of the association. You know, when you have appreciated somebody, that person is bound to do that thing that he or she has done again and again. I'm one of the happiest persons, and that's why I dress like this. I dress this my attire to show that I am very, very happy. I feel so elated. I feel so honored because actually it came to me as a surprise, but I think it's a well-deserved award because I've given my bits to the association. Being a member of the Nigerian Library Association is like showcasing Rotary to the world the more and also showcasing library to the world the more and creating library literacy, which is a very good thing to do. This week also saw the harvest and thanksgiving service of St. Jude's Military Church, where parishioners thanked God for his faithfulness in 2023. <laughs> There is something you will do today that will trigger heaven. 
you will trigger heaven and God will release his favor upon you. As a church, I want us to be, by the grace of God, part of the crops that Christ, when he comes, will harvest. And secondly, just like the Samaritan, it also gives us an opportunity to return thanks to God for what he has done for us for the period of the year. Thank you, God, for a harvest that indeed proved to be a harvest of wholesome blessing. Right from the time this harvest was announced and the date taken, miracles have been happening in this church. Even people who are sick, we ask people to harvest their health. And people harvest it for their happiness. And people have been giving testimonies here when there's the services and all the rest of them. So God has actually been there for us. I'm really very grateful to God for all he's done for us. All we have done today is a token of what we have. We appreciate him for all he has done for us, for accepting our praise. The Harvest Committee have done very well. And as you can see yourself, it's um, a very successful um, event so far. Far away in Dashi, in a Cheluk government area, the sisters and brothers through love outreach showed love to the less privileged and abused persons in the area. Uh, that uh, spirit of through love and care and spirit of sharing is exactly what uh, she has actually brought home today. Yeah, and we are here as a, a people and also her parents yeah, giving um, whatever support we can give so that uh, uh, this dream will come through completely. She's not the first, neither the last, that have left this place to overseas. We have them as many. But for the fact that God has been using her, only her, to bless the entire community women, it's something else. So we are happy. And finally, on today's package, NTA Portacos Network Center distinguished themselves in the discharge of their duties and emerged the Network Center of the Year 2023. Staff and management could not hold back their excitement. Let's take a look. There's no way I would have been the best owner director without the best staff. Wow. It would never have been possible without your support. So I have come back to say thank you. It is more difficult to, climb, to sustain than to, than to just climb. So because we have climbed and we are here, we must retain it. I return the glory to God Almighty. And I would like to thank the NTA Network for recognizing our efforts. Uh, I'd like to say that uh, teamwork and hard work pays. This award will spur us to do even more. And like Oliver Twist, so that we'll continue to win more and more awards. This award of excellence NTA Portacot Network Center received from headquarters did not come to me as a surprise. The station staff are very hardworking people. They are goal getters. Then crowned with a zona director who does not relent in her efforts, a very hardworking woman, Dr. Mrs. Ibrahim Hosu, to put in more effort to achieve even greater feats than what we already have. Management and staff of NTA Portacourt Network Center have been working very hard during the year gone by. So I'm not surprised that the Zonal Director, Evelyn Mwosu, won the best Zonal Director of the year. And the station also. Um, this will spur us on to greater heights in the coming year. I feel so proud of being a staff of NTA Portacourt Network Center. I'm so happy that we won this award. It's a thing of joy to see that when you work, they recognize you. We appreciate God for giving her this award and we want to let her know that we that are following her would not let her, you know, fall short of the expectations. And as it on Weekend Review, thank you for your time. I am Deep Babaru, Sied Domaweke. Good morning. happiness with everybody. Merry Christmas. Jesus is love and the reason for the season. So let's share our love with all humanity. Merry Christmas. Eat, drink, make merry and say safe. Merry Christmas. A time to show love, compassion and kindness. Merry Christmas. We all know Christmas is a time to relax, visit friends, 
and give gifts to loved ones. So, we wish you all the best during this season. Merry Christmas. A time where family and friends come together to celebrate. Merry Christmas. From all of us at ATA for that God Network Center. Merry Christmas! You may not have a flourishing business now, but you must see yourself in the future, near future, with your business and your flourishing. You must see it. You see it in your imagination. You, you must see it. If you can't see it, it can't come to pass. You can't live in praise and be hot. You live in a hot free zone. High praise. High praise makes your enemy cause enemies. <laughs>